We are learning more about the circumstances of the tragedy on the film set here, even if the central mystery of how it was allowed to happen remains. Police believe that Alec Baldwin, seen here distraught in the hours after the shooting, was told by a member of the film crew that the gun he was handling was cold. In other words, was not loaded and did not pose a threat. And yet, minutes later, the talented young cinematographer Helena Hutchins was shot dead. Audio has been released of the emergency call. An assistant on the film set pleading for help. Uh, Bonanza Creek Ranch has had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately. So was it loaded with a real bullet or one? We don't, I, don't, I cannot tell you that. Okay. Is there any serious bleeding? I don't know. I ran out of the building. Also injured in the accident was the director, Joel Souza. He has spoken for the first time, saying, I am gutted by the loss of my friend and colleague Halina. She was kind, vibrant, incredibly talented, fought for every inch, and always pushed me to be better. My thoughts are with her family at this most difficult time. Other friends have paid tribute to the Ukrainian-born cinematographer, who filmed herself on horseback earlier in the week. Beyond the extremely talented, uh, which is a given, uh, is just her um, generous and really open personality. Vehicles continue to come and go inside the ranch where the tragedy unfolded. I am told the investigation will last at least several more days. And the film industry also is trying to learn important lessons. Alec Baldwin, photographed here hours before the shooting in his period costume and ironically with theatrical blood on his body, has been fully cooperating with investigators. Many who work in the industry say the problem was not a single blunder, but rather multiple failures, ones that raise serious questions for the film business. Robert Moore, ITV News, in Santa Fe, New Mexico.